With the upcoming Creality CR30 and other belt printer designs starting to become more commonplace, I believe there is something that a lot of people are not taking into account when deciding to purchase a Infinite Z belt printer. Now, while layer orientation is nothing new to those involved with 3D printing, I do believe that the 45 degree tool head is something a lot of people are not taking into account when looking at the Infinite Z belt printer design. So I threw together a quick test. Now this is nothing scientific. Um, I'm using only one type of plastic with three separate prints, but this should give us a rough idea of the different structural capabilities of the different print orientations you will encounter. So the first part was printed traditionally on my Voron V2. This is printed in eSun ABS Plus, and all these parts are printed in eSun ABS Plus. Now, I do not currently have a belt printer. Uh, the CR30 isn't on the market. My YouTube channel isn't big enough to get a pre-production sample. So to replicate the 45 degree print of a belt printer, I simply took the STL file and orientated it on a 45 degree angle and printed with supports. Now the part was printed in both a lengthwise and a widthwise orientation. So we have the layer lines going in perpendicular directions. Now while this will not 100% mimic a true belt printer print, I believe this gets us close enough that we can use the details learned in the further test to draw some conclusions. So for testing, the parts printed here are the A motor mount for the Voron V2.4, the upper portion, and I am mounting them to some 2020 extrusions. Once I will be clamped in place, we'll simply have weight added until it breaks. This is a very basic test, but again, we're just looking at how the part behaves when printed in these different orientations. Now the first part printed was in the traditional orientation that you would see on most 3D printers. And this part held up to approximately 2.3 kilograms of force before breaking. And while it did break, it did hold on by a little bit. Now the second part is the one that failed the soonest. This one failed at around one kilogram of weight. And this one had the orientation of the layer lines going perpendicular to the weight. And again, it failed only at one kilogram. And as you can see, it failed cleanly. Now, this one surprised me the most. This part was printed with the orientation of the tool head going lengthwise, so along the long axis. And this held up to four kilograms of weight for breaking. Now, at first, this may seem like a big win. This held up almost twice as much weight as the traditional method. However, inferring from our previous test, Against the other axis, we only have half the strength. So while significantly stronger in one orientation, it is significantly weaker in the other orientation. So this is something you really have to take into account if you plan on pr printing anything structural on your belt printer with an infinite Z. Because depending on how you orientate the part on the bed, you will either end up with a much stronger print in a certain direction or a much weaker print in a certain direction. Now I'm not saying this rules out the CR30 and other belt style printers for all applications. There are uses Well, this will be an optimal solution. However, I am saying for those that have been thinking of running these in a print farm for printing off printer parts, for example, you have to take a look at how the parts you are printing are designed and if there will be any benefits to printing them on a 45 degree tool head or if that will lead to any disadvantages in the parts. So again, this was just a really quick test. I know we're drawing some very early conclusions here, but I just kind of wanted to take a look at this myself after seeing some of the early videos of the CR30 in action and just put some data on the table and make those that are thinking about buying this aware of something they need to look into. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you have any comments, please comment below. If you would like to see more content such as this, don't forget to subscribe as well and ring that bell. And don't forget, I do have a Twitter now at 3DP Nero. You can see some behind the scenes stuff of stuff I'm working on and also updates when I will be streaming. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have found it informative and have a great day.